Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 has just begun and today I'll be going over hidden secrets built into the season and some rewards you can pick up along the way. So with that being said, let's get into the video. We are getting so close to 50,000 subscribers, it would make a big difference if you do hit that button and turn on all notifications. Since I do give my subscribers as much as I can, so do be sure to comment your Epic Games ID down below, letting me know what you'd like from the Fortnite item shop. Me and my cat Maya would greatly appreciate it if you could join my Discord in the description down below. Epic Games are currently working on expanding Mega City, as in the trailer, Mega City was certainly bigger than we, what we are currently seeing in the game as of now. Not only that, but once the POI does expand, we can expect to see a mysterious skin that has in fact been teased. This skin could be part of the bonus rewards in the battle pass or something else but battle pass skin Renzo is someone to keep an eye on as it may seem like he's part of the oath bound quests. The second edit style for the skin gives similar vibes to the tech not to mention the armor that the ageless skin wears that we have seen last season. Okay guys this is actually really cool there's now a way to go faster using the new rails inside of Mega City, and it's so overpowered. Rather than simply waiting to travel on the rails, start bunny hopping as much as you possibly can and then once you want to go somewhere else before landing, slide and you go incredibly fast. Let me know if you guys would like to see more in-game tricks like this within the next few videos. However, there is something else to keep our eye on as the marine monoliths that have appeared out of nowhere and we still have no idea what they actually could mean. However, they do remind me a lot of the old stone circles in previous seasons we have seen inside of Fortnite. However, these gems codenamed Bone Marrow Towers, so there's definitely something going on here. What do you guys think? Going on from what we talked about from Mega City earlier in the video, Mega City is of course the main POI to set the scene inside of Season 2 of Chapter 4. However, there are still a few secrets that you may want to know about. The dragon statue that is in the center of Mega City directly, but that's not the only thing we're going to be talking about with Mega City because honestly there are some so cool things that have come to the game since every time the storm circle closes the dragon breathes this really interesting graphic like sort of flame which I can't quite put my finger on it but I personally think that the dragon statue will come to life and be part of the event or storyline at some point of the season later on. Adding to that Mega City has actually got a helipad however there are no choppers to land on it. Although they were vaulted earlier in chapter 2 a while ago, a futuristic helicopter could be in play very soon and if we do see this, what do you think it will look like? We can now have sword fights inside of Fortnite with on the edge of the map showcasing two katanas. So simply if you guys want to lure your enemies by selecting a bounty on a random player, hopefully they don't kill you before taking this sword fight but this is definitely something I've been waiting for a long time to see and for casual players this is honestly really exciting. Lantern Fest 2023 will be happening in the next Fortnite update. Around the map there will be new lanterns as Epic did actually add a data layer around it. Alongside that, the Twilight Mosaic Wrap will be sold in the item shop. I assume we will also be getting website challenges too like last year. Honestly, I'm so, so excited to see what this actually means inside of Fortnite but we're going to be having a lot more updates coming very soon. Talking about updates, we're going to be getting an Unreal Editor. I believe this is some sort of different version of Fortnite, but this is going to be some sort of Engine 5. So it does say here that the UEFN beta provides creators with an early version of this version. The Unreal Engine creators will find many familiar tools and workflows, as well as some key differences and limitations not present currently in the Unreal Engine. So this means Fortnite could be changing very soon and we're going to be getting a lot bigger versions, including the graphics in Fortnite. But the official Fortnite creative account did post this image, Creative 2.0 is coming really really soon, but going back to the Unreal Engine for Fortnite releases in 6 days and this is going to include features like Animation Sequencer, Cinematic Sequencer and Terrain Editor. The Deadeye skin has a glitch outfit being worked on which does fit the theme of this season as we've got some sort of glitch theme season as you guys know in Mega City is definitely part of that theme. And this does question if we're going to be getting loads of different, you know, glitch edit styles for other skins going on in this season. Akko believes that there is a theory 
While a huge stretch, there is a theory that chapter 4 is repeating chapter 1 themes reversed. So we went from a rift related season to a futuristic one. So could the next season basically be tropical or jungle themed like we did see in season 8? Honestly, that would be so cool. A sand version of Dr. Sloan is being worked on. We haven't actually seen much on Dr. Sloan recently, but voice lines were real from what we did see from this. And this character looks so cool. Even if this does only come to the item shop or as a quest to unlock it, I'm definitely going to get my hands on this. Not only that, but upcoming cosmetics set code named Sir Wolf will have a bundle and items sold separately. These include the cosmetics, an outfit, back bling, a built-in emo, a pickaxe, but honestly, I'm kind of curious about what this actually means. Which leaves me on the final list of things that are going to be set to be released this season and throughout the rest of the season. Now, the first thing we're going to be looking at is Attack on Titan. Now, Attack on Titan has been a collab that we've been on the works for ages, and we're going to be getting a mythic potentially a mythic weapon but also challenges too now we have got a battle pass skin in the theme of attack on titan 2 but may the fourth event with two new skins force mythic new blaster and return of vader so darth vader star wars collab will be returning to fortnite 2 and finally we'll be seeing a spring event with challenges which will also bring some new augments also some new forged items and egg launchers and according to a few leakers over on Twitter, the map should obviously receive the following changes in the next updates. The expansion of Mega City, which is what I talked about at the start of the video, more dojos across the new biome, and much more to come within the next few updates in Chapter 4 Season 2. The artist Drew Hill recently posted artwork for a battle jet ski, meaning that this has been proposed to Epic as a possible future water vehicle. Epic have actually used his concepts before, and at the back of the jet skis you can see multiple different things. You can see a rocket engine, which I assume this means this, this uh, vehicle itself will be much, much better than a normal jet ski alone, but also a potentially a lot better than a boat too, because this engine will be very overpowered but we also have these red looking missile launchers which means it could be a huge overpowered weapon we could be using too but with a return of water themed additions to the game Midas's return becomes much much more promising as you guys do remember when he did of course die he died to the shark in that water season so maybe this is Epic Games' way of introducing the reintroduction of Midas. Throughout the rest of the season, I'll be updating you guys with the latest Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 content because there's going to be a lot and this season does look like it's going to be bigger than the last few seasons we have seen. If you guys have any comments or questions you guys would like to ask, then feel free to let me know down below. But also my socials are there too, like my Discord, Twitch, TikTok, everything will be there too. It would be greatly appreciated if you guys could leave a like on this video because I do go out my way to make these videos for you guys. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys are subscribing with the notifications on because I know a lot of you still haven't done that since. You know, there are quite a few that haven't done that, but um, there will be a video on the screen for you right now if you want to see other types of videos on my channel. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.